Front tackle defense number five. Right now, a defense against a front tackle. Let me do this slowly because it is a very lethal move. The tackle comes in. I stop with both forearms here. Come up and under with the guillotine using this bone of this arm right on the trachea. Turn this way so you can see how it comes back in. I've stopped. I come up. It's here. Next, we do a judo maneuver called tomoinagi or the monkey flip. As we drop down, we take the head with us. We hold this shoulder, we kick the knee or the leg up into the abdomen. We bring him up. If we want to break his neck, at this point, we hold his head stable on the ground. If he goes up and over with the push, his neck will break with his own weight. I'm gonna release him when he goes up and over. There you go. Front tackle defense number four. All right. Uh, we're going to walk right through several of these moves real fast and go back to our ground fighting scenario because almost always when you think something's right, uh, it just doesn't work. Mr. Murphy, Murphy's Law steps right in and boom, and you fall on the ground. Uh, I believe that uh, it was Joe Lewis that told me once that 88% of all street fights end up on the ground. 88% is good enough for Jim West to learn how to fight down there, even though that's the last place on earth I want to end up. Uh, so you got to know how. The next rush is a guy comes down deliberately, much like a wrestler, and he tries to come in and grab at your legs. So when he comes in here, look, you want to shoot your arms in here like this between his neck and his shoulder, reach underneath and do a side headlock. In other words, his head doesn't go back, it goes sideways like this. All right? So you can also go back into the DDT if you're quick enough. There's a lot of angles you can work that neck, but the side one works real nice also, okay, because you got all those nerves once again down here. Uh, now this one here is very, very, very dangerous. You got to have your footwork to uh, support it. Uh, so when they start their rush, they come head down. Slide over here, Dale. First thing I like to do is try to slow him down. I don't know that I can stop him. If I got a Russian opponent come at me, I may hit him with an uppercut. I may hit him with a palm heel straight up. Maybe catch him with an elbow, maybe come over top, hit him in the back of the head, then grab him. Or one I've been working on for a while is when he comes in, is to grab his head and crack him with your knee real hard. Once you crack him and he keeps running forward and trying to grab you, shoot your hand down. If he goes to my right, no problem. It would be the same if he went to my left. Reach down and grab his chin. You're still going backwards and take that chin and just pull it straight up to the ceiling. Okay? You get a big strong guy in a bull rush, it's going to make his knife real, his night really rough. So he's here like this. He starts coming in. We go knee, boom, grab, pull him up, and it's done. All right? Good deal. Quick announcement. I've got some brutal fight-ending moves. They're pretty ugly, but you're going to want to know these. It's yours for free from the link in the description below. Okay, back to our video. Front tackle defense number three. Hey, crew. Mark Hatmaker here. Dan Marks assisting me. Dan, we got to do this. Thank you, brother. Uh, we're on our feet because we want to talk about uh, a head snap. We want to do an old school frontier rough and tumble head snap. In wrestling, there is a head snap to bring some people down. And it's a great and wonderful functional tool. Uh, but we want to add a little bit more oomph to it so you can use it for your street altercations because frontier uh, rough and tumble is about, it's for all the marbles. It's mean to, uh, you know, you want to end this thing, right? Now, I'm going to show you from a reference position, which is a quasi inside clinch, even though we may, it can have a sportive look to it, but it can be off of anything. Guy, he could be shooting heavy and fast for actual uh, street scuffle. We do wind up in the street scuffle, we get close to it for the inside clinch, but we're gonna snap out of this reference point, so this is not the only place this can be done. The reference point is just called inside position. In this case, it looks very similar to collar and elbow. My right hand goes around Dan's neck. My left hand is looking to stay to the inside. So if Dan were to grab my neck and he's grabbing my short, uh, our arm as well, we see I'm on the top, he's on the top. We're basically in a neutral position. This is the sportive version of it. We're not wanting that. Well, I'm not wanting that, all right? I want him to be in the sport version, right? I'm not a sportsman, not anymore. My hand goes here, as his hand might be reaching for me, and it doesn't matter, he could just be shooting or we could be boxing. My job is my hand goes to the back of his head, this other hand comes to the inside position. Why does it come to the inside? Because Dan's engineering hand is in the back of my head. He's gonna to wanna to snap me. I'm reducing his ability to snap just by the fact that I've taken away his leverage position right here. If I start pulling on him, I have better leverage. His hand's on the back of my neck. If I'm here, pull on my head. Yeah, I can ride, I can stop it out by burying into him, but pull on my neck now. I push his bicep, woo! That was a little pretty easy, right? Just switching where our hands are, that's the way to go. 
The other reason I want my hands are to the inside, let's swing it around this way, grit your teeth. Are you ready, Dan? I'm mm -hmm. coming across with the inside crook of the arm. I'm gonna get your head up just a little bit. If I'm to the inside position, he grits his teeth. I may, shit, sorry about that. You gotta be, send this across, catch him with the bicep. It's called Oklahoma popping, right? Everything I'm doing in the clinic, you're moving the entire time, making things happen to upset his base, to upset his spirit and heart, right? That's what we want the inside position. If I'm here to the inside, Dan doesn't have that opportunity because I'm blocking it out because I am scared of having that happen to me. He's perfectly capable of it, but at 25 pounds up, I get a headache all day and that's why I'm demoing it and he has to do it, ha ha. So to make the snap happen, one more thing Dan, here we go. I want to snap, I'm gonna bring both hands six inches high and then I bring them down aggressively. So they will go this high, down aggressively while I'm doing that, my hands will, my feet go back to square and I bend over this way. I'm gonna have to do it once, brother, you good? Mm -hmm. All right, teeth are clenched, mm -hmm. ready? So he's getting this huge shock in the back of the head. I'm writing him down with the bike with stand up, brother. Man, oh man, he's a good man for taking it. Hey, I'm doing this to him. Do, do not mistake the fact and think that he can't do that to me. He can't, he's very good at what he does. I just got the option to do this, so I chose it because I'm older and wiser, right? But the main idea, you don't pull someone down, I'm not gonna do it again, I promise. You don't pull someone in a snap, up! and then down. But also look on this up and down one more time. Look at this elbow, I'm not gonna do it to him. As it goes up, it bites him in that clavicle at the same time. Frontier Rough and Tumble has so many little hidden shots in it. It is a thing of beauty, you gotta love it. Front tackle defense number two. What's one of the worst things that really happens to people on the streets when they're out and about with their family or when they're out and about with friends? It's getting taken down with what we call a double leg takedown. If you think of a football player, it's, a, it's kind of a low tackle, but for those who are trained in grappling, it's a double leg takedown. Now what's happening is that he's gonna come in from where he is, we're talking, I may not really see what's happening, but he's talking and he shoots and he goes to shoot for my legs. Go ahead, Edson, shoot, boom. Now look where he's at. I'm in a, I, his hips are low, he's rooted, he has his arms inside of my legs. I'm in a real bad situation here but not as bad as you might think. What we're gonna do is, from this perspective, he's already got it sunk. What I'm going to do is put a hand on his head. I'm gonna put this hand on his shoulder. What I'm gonna do is kick my knees out, and I'm gonna sprawl, all right? From here, he's trying to, trying to pull me down. I just sprawl my legs out and place my weight on top of him. Now you notice my weight's on his shoulders. My weight is resting over the shoulder blades. And where are my legs right now? They're out, right? And they're out because when I sprawl out, what happens is it lowers my weight on top of him. Because he's already tilted over, he goes straight down to the ground. Once I'm down, I have his head, I had his shoulder, I'm sprawled. I'm gonna keep the head pinned and I'm gonna move right to the side right where I'm at right here. This is where I'm gonna come up, knee, face grab, tear the face up. Eyes come off, eyes come off. I don't care if I get cheek, nose, lips, eyes, soft tissue, I don't care. I'm tearing anything I can get my hands on. Why? Because when I'm down here doing this with him, who's protecting my companion? Who's got my daughter? Nobody, so I have to deal with him very quickly. And if I just hit him thinking I'm gonna knock him out, it might not work, right? So when I'm down, I'm here from the front, I'm gonna move to the side. Knee up, tear, turn him out, tear. And get back up to go protect my daughter. So stand back up, Edson, let's do it one more time. Comes in, come fast hard. Does it pop? I'm gonna drop, spin him down. Now I'm out here. My legs are up. I keep the head pinned. I'm simply going to pivot around, come up. Grip, tear, tear. The whole key is the rip. And I can also do the rip from here. But typically, I wanna get to a position of advantage where I can really dominate him. So I'm gonna rip tear, bring the face up to gain that total control.
Remember to click on the link in the description to get access to those free lethal fight ending video lessons before it's too late. Front tackle defense number one. Let's move on now to a low tackle where the guy is trying to grab you, low to the legs. Most of the people in the street will end up 90% of the time on the ground if they get into grappling and wrestling, meaning getting into one of those and I push you and you push me, will end up on the ground. People that are better fighters like street fighters, what I call the punks that really like to take advantage of you, they will fake up and shoot down. Once they put you down on the ground, there's not much you can do. You and your back, you can try your best to strike, you can try to elbow, but if they're aggressors and they're very strong, they get on top of you, one or two good punches, you could have lights out. You don't want that to happen. So here it is, you watch the whole person, not just his eyes. They could be beautiful and blue and you get faked out. You watch the whole body by watching the person and the throat. Let me show you what I'm talking about. When I watch the person and the eyes, I probably see up to here of him. When I watch him in the throat, I see the top of his head and I see him all the way to the bottom. So my focus is on his throat, but if he moves any one of his legs, hey, I can see it. Anything he does, and my hands are here, I can see it. So I can reach, I can see, but I don't look him in the eyes. Also some people does not like, or they don't like, I should say in correct English, they don't like the challenge. Once you look him in the eyes, you created a challenge. So I look him in the throat and play very humble. As soon as he starts dumping or shooting to my legs, I move back. Even if I leave one leg for him, I put one hand in the crown of his head and the other one, like I throw a bowling ball, I reach, for his face and slap him right up and twist his face around. That will stop his body from moving any more forward or grabbing. Even if he grabbed my leg, I got his head. I'll give him a leg for his head. At this point in here, I caused a major trauma to his neck. I'm gonna turn him around. I can elbow him, I can knee him, I can take the air and the vision away and drop him. Stay in the top of his head and talk him in staying down. If he decides not to, and he's still aggressive, here's when I kick him and put him to sleep. Here's where I hit the body. Okay, let's show this again. And this time I'm gonna show it from this direction. As I'm talking myself out of it and he fakes me and shoots, I stop him with my forearm and I shoot my hand right to his face. Let's turn him a little bit into camera this way so I can show how I shoot him, stop him and shoot him right to the face. Just a palm to the face and immediately I torque. Now, even if he's bold, even if he's bold and doesn't have any hair to grab, I reach to the crown of the head, I reach my fingers into his ears, but this is what does the job, is the chin turns. I give him a chiropractic treatment for free. I crank his neck and right away I shoot to the temple of his head to take the equilibrium out. Boom! And if I need to, more than once. Okay, I then smear the face and take him down where I want him and stay on top of his head in an angle so I can see him, so I can talk to him, stay down there. I can stump, I can kick, I can kick the body if I don't want to be lethal and deal with the consequences of putting him in the hospital with a lot of stitches in the faces. Okay, let's come up. And Eric, let's walk another stuntman actor in here and they will walk to this one time and full speed. Here he goes. Fake. Check out our site right now and I'll give you 20% off. Just get to the description link below, click on it, and it'll take you directly to our site. And I'll automatically apply the 20% discount at the checkout. Just hurry though, that special link and this deep discount are only good for the next 24 hours. Thanks for watching our video lessons here at TRS Direct. 